Annalie Ashford is the adorable pup that comes between New Yorkers Matthew Broderick and Julie White in A.R. Gurney's Sylvia. We're here at the Court Theater on opening night. Are you ready for a nice Broadway comedy tonight? I am. I saw the show originally, so and I loved it. And I love Annalie Ashford and and Matthew and, and Judy, Julie. They'll be fantastic. How, how does it feel? I mean, this, you were so wonderful in this play when it premiered, and it's on Broadway now. What is it like to see the play on Broadway and to see Matthew in it? Oh, it's wonderful. I mean, I'm I'm a great admirer of my husband and his work and his devotion to the theater. You know, he comes back time and time again, and um, I love his commitment. So I'm always delighted to sit in an audience and watch him work and it's lovely to see somebody else have a chance to play such a wonderful part. And you know, who doesn't like dogs? We love our dogs. Do you have a dog? I, absolutely. Yeah, a dog on a Broadway stage for two hours. I'm, I'm into that. I have a little brown, beautiful brown dog uh, named Ralph, uh, who's a, an Australian Shepherd poodle, an Aussie doodle. The love of our life was a Harlequin Great Dane called Thor, you know, and uh, I still miss him now after all these years. So have you ever uh, fallen under the spell of a, of a beautiful dog like Sylvia? When you say fallen under the sway of a dog, <laughs> you know, that's when it turns into Son of Sam. You know, the dog told me to shoot those people. I don't think we want that. I think you just love your dog because they love, because they are sort of unconditional love on four legs. <laughs> Ashford, you're back on Broadway in Sylvia. You're Sylvia. You're a dog. It's crazy. I mean, I always hoped that I would play a non-human on Broadway, and my dream came true. This is such a great role for you. Did, are you enjoying yourself? Yeah, I, I lo really love the play, and um, I enjoy doing it. I can't imagine four better people to be in this play. What was what's it like creating all this comedy together? Well, you know, actually. Um, in the rehearsal room, it's kind of hard. When there is so much comedy in it, you need an audience. This is like a dream cast. I mean, this I can't imagine four better people for this play. Uh, what's it like being up there in the midst of all this hijack? First of all, Robbie Sella is giving a performance of the ages. Julie White is just like fierce, funny actress. Matthew Broderick. Matthew Broderick just lives in a whole land. He's in a class of his own. And then Broadway's Annalie Ashford. We like her, too. <laughs> I can't believe I'm here. Like, what's happening? Oh, my God. Is, this play is so much fun, and you're a big part of that fun. Oh, thank you. I, you know, I, I'm so grateful. The audiences have been so supportive and so kind to us, and for good reason. I mean, Pete Gurney has written a funny, moving, fantastic play. You know, I think that Mr. Gurney, our brilliant American playwright. He's uncovered the mysterious language that we have with our dogs. You know, we project what we think they're thinking, but if you've had a dog, you know from the spirit of their little heart kind of what they're thinking. So he's just translated it in, into English. This is really like a valentine to to all of this, all these emotions and all of this stuff you sort of go through, right, as a dog owner. Well, I'm a dog man. I've always had a dog. The first thing I ever wrote in my life was about my dog. It was there to be written, and a dog in New York seemed like a great story. The audience is like going crazy with laughter. I mean, it's so fun to hear that much like laughter. We came off stage from the first preview after at intermission, and I looked at Julia Matthew and I said, "Well, Pete Gurney is a funny man. It's delightfully funny." And then at the at the end, I think there's a, a because it's so funny. Uh, there's a sense of truth and an honesty that kind of catches you by surprise at, at the very end. It's a, it's a beautiful play that Pete wrote and it's a pleasure to do it. It's about love and it's about finding your tribe, finding your pack and figuring out who you are and what you want to be. Like he says, Greg's character says, he looks up and says, when's the last time we really looked up at the stars? And sometimes when you're wrestling through your life or you've been in a marriage for a while or sometimes something comes along that kind of reignites the fact that it's kind of a beautiful life, you know? Mm -hmm.